If you're a real estate agent struggling to connect with your spheres, people that you know or may know of in your market, but you don't know how to do it in an indirect way, here's some strategies I'm going to share with you that you can even leverage your KB Core for as well or your CRM. So stay with me. My name is Daimila Bajasinghe. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent with EXP Realty, and I'm also a KB Core Pure Coach with Insight Real Estate. And I'm going to be walking you through some strategies on how to indirectly connect with your sphere of influence, your influence marketing. So if this is your first time coming to my channel, make sure you hit on hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell to get updates on more content like this. And if you want to work with me, partner with me, get access to all my training and resources you know what to do go to the description below click on the link and book a call with me i'd be happy to share all the information and check out the description as well there's a ton of resources in there so for you to connect with me and work with me and also if you have any questions at all as i go throughout this video leave it in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer them so let's get started so sphere are people you already know you may already know from you know going to school with them going to your children's daycare they're probably people that you might have worked with in the past maybe working with they're on your linkedin as your connections they may be on your facebook there may be your friends on instagram and you're probably wondering okay they i want to let them know that i'm a realtor but how do i do it in a way that is a little bit subtle i don't want to connect with these people because i haven't spoken to them in a really long time a couple of ways you can do this is obviously when you start to put out content and i have tons of content video on how to leverage social media and if you start to post these videos all they're going to start to know that you're a realtor and you're sharing a lot of value and that goes across all the platform and whether your friends are on it or whether they're complete strangers and how to attract people to just come and watch and connect with your training and how to engage with your content so that applies across the board so my recommendation is make sure that you have some sort of a you know, you're leveraging tools that you're capturing these leads as well, because sometimes people are curious and they're looking to make a move, but they want a little bit of guidance from you, perhaps, or they want maybe, uh, you know, they want to start looking at property, but they haven't quite reached out to you because they don't want to waste your time and because they already know you. And remember, we, we spent so much time trying to build all these relationships with people in our in, in, you know, complete strangers that don't know us, like us or trust us, but we have this database so, or people that we know of who are in our all of our social media accounts, why not leverage them? So my couple of recommendations is, first of all, start to slowly put out squeeze pages or landing pages where you can list something along the lines of, you know, newly listed properties in the greater Toronto area or newly listed properties in Locust Grove, Atlanta, you know, Georgia, or some things like that where you're targeting and you're sharing with people some of the up to more up to date new listings. And the other way you can do is again generating these leads. I say generating the leads. You already have these contacts, but they're not in your database with consent. So my recommendation is putting some lead capture in place, like sending people direct links to properties. So when you go into the back end of your CRM or KV Core go to a listing that you have permission to promote. But because it's in your personal Facebook page as well, you may not even need to get permission. You can just promote it with that because it's not public and nobody's going to see it. You can even get the property, the link. My best practice as always is to, to get permission as always. I do trainings on. But again, this is your sphere. These are people that are on your personal Facebook, personal LinkedIn. So what I recommend you do is go to a particular property that you want to promote or even a sole listing and get the direct link and and put it up and write a little bit like maybe one or two sentence about it so maybe if they were to click it it'll capture them into your database and now you know oh hey so and so in my database is actually looking at at potentially moving and now you can actually call them up and say hey so and so um i noticed you were on my website looking at properties i'm a realtor and i'd love to help you is there is there something that you're looking for i noticed that you're looking at this property do you want to go see it and you can actually be of service to them because you have some information to connect with them the other thing too is you can start to post let's just say when you leverage landing pages and make sure you check out my whole series on landing pages because I give you a ton of different strategies on different type of landing pages to create. But you can do fun landing pages like top five properties with pools or top five properties to invest in, in Ontario that's listed today or top five properties that have sold in, in, the last, in the last week in this area. So people are curious about what things are being sold for. And my also recommendation is if you're on Facebook, leverage the birthday function. Folks, there's so many people's birthdays are happening every single day. If I were you, instead of just saying happy birthday, do a quick video. And if you know their birthday, you could put them in CRM and send them um, a quick text message if you have their phone number or email address. And obviously not mentioning any of the work because they didn't give you consent to be in your email or don't send them anything via unless they've opted in to getting those emails and text messages. But you can send a, a simple happy birthday. My recommendation is to always use things like KB Core, um, 
Facebook or LinkedIn or social media because the algorithm is going to allow you for them to see your content more. So my recommendation is always go into Facebook and start to say happy birthday to every single person. If you can't make a video, simply say happy birthday and start to go into some of these people's Facebook page and you'll be surprised that they're actually posting, but you're just not seeing them because the algorithm thinks that you're not interested in their content because you haven't been interacting with them and they haven't been interacting with you. But you already have probably five, 600 people on your Facebook that you're friends with that you can connect with. You might have been friends with or worked with 12, 15 years ago. So go in there and start wishing people happy birthday. Go in there and start liking people's content that they recently posted, comment, and start to engage with them so you can help the algorithm work in your favor. The other recommendation that I recommend you do is you can leverage a landing page to do this so you can capture people's contact information into your database. But I recommend running a giveaway exclusive for your friends on Facebook and choose a local partner. Go find someone with a, you know, a dessert place or something that where you can give them a little treat. You could promote the area and say, hey, I'm a realtor and I just launched my business and I just want to let everybody in my Facebook friends know and I'm running an exclusive giveaway and I want to give this special gift to, to all of you. If you can go like my Instagram page, like my Facebook page, business page, and and support it. And for everyone that does this, I'm going to run a quick draw and you can win this, this, this. Maybe it's a Blue Jays ticket, like I'm in Toronto, or something that's in your neighborhood, that's something in that area that you're promoting. So that's just a good way to get contacts in, get your following, and let everybody know that you're a realtor. Indirect way of doing it, right? Without having to pick up the phone call and saying, Hi there, I haven't been in touch with you for all these years, but now I'm a realtor and I want you to know I'm a realtor and I want you to work with me. And that's not quite respectful. And they think, Okay, well, now you're calling me now that you need me, but now you could do it a little bit more indirectly. And that's what this strategy is for. And the other strategy is you could start to put out content against squeeze pages on market report or home evaluation. You could do a seller squeeze page. Again, anything that I talk about here when it comes to KB Core or tools. They're my YouTube videos, so you can you can leverage that. A squeeze page is where it gives you a list of properties that they go and click, and when they click on it, it captures them as a lead, or you can see who's looking at what properties. And then if somebody is of interest and they want to do a home evaluation, you could be the one to help them out. And the other thing that I would do is, again, like market reports, start to post them, right? Again, a lot of these things are part of your social media campaigns anyway or, or post schedule. So if you're looking for social media content and strategies, again, head to my playlist on social media. I have a ton of content in there that can help you out. And also, if you're a realtor, I had another agent in my group that do this and it was amazing, is host an event. And you can invite all your closest friends and family to this and, and make it a thing and let everybody know, hey, I'm launching my career in real estate and I want everybody to know, help me, support me, like my content, my social media pages, share with your friends, refer me to people, write a review about me. And you can actually host an event and treat people. And then it'll be a really good way for you to re reconnect with some of these old relationships or people you haven't been in, in touch with. And because if you're holding, if you're hosting anything in person or you're meeting people in person, try to leverage uh, your QR code that's available in your CRM or KB Core platform. So QR code can capture them into your database, again, automating some of that task for you instead of having to manually enter people. And then if anyone you worked with in the past and you want to indirectly connect with them, again, you know their birthdays, send them a birthday alert. It's automated once and only and every year it'll send them a happy birthday. The anniversary of their closing when you help them purchase their home or sold their home, you can also start to nurture and engage with them that way as well, which I always talk about in my training. And ask people for feedback and, and review so that you can learn, but you can also promote it on your website, social media, and, and all of your tools to help you kind of get people getting interested in you. And these are some things you can share on your social media, on your Facebook, Instagram, so people can see, wow, so-and-so is doing great in the industry. They know what they're doing. They have great clients giving them great feedback. You know what? I trust them to do and take on my transaction as well or my properties listing. So this is the type of work that you want to start to get in the habit of doing is to start to share as much information as you can. When you're on the road showing properties, take a quick snippet, share it on your stories. Again, this is part of your social media plan and it should be. So everything that you're doing in your business, when you can, when it's applicable, share it on your social media, on your Instagram. I helped purchased one of my one of my clients. I helped 
that I worked with 12 years ago in my one of my first part-time jobs years ago, and I helped purchase her first home. So you'll be surprised who's watching your content or who might not be able to see your content, but they might be interested. So that's why I always tell people when you're working with your sphere, a couple of things you want to consider and keep in mind is that don't assume that they already know that you're a realtor. You'd be surprised. A lot of people might not be seeing your content. You think you're posting and they're seeing it, but the algorithm, the algorithm isn't allowing them to see it. And don't assume that they already have a realtor. You'll be surprised that uh, some people may not have a realtor. Yes, there's hundreds and thousands of realtors in a lot of areas now, but a lot of people might not have a friend or they may not want to work with someone that's really close to them, like their sister or sister-in-law or family members. And they may want to work with you who is maybe an acquaintance or someone you worked with or something like that in the past. And also don't assume that they may not want to hear about your business and take interest in your business and your interest in your business growth. So start to share content and have let, allow people, allow, accept love, allow people to to connect with you and and celebrate you and support your business. And you know, one of the things that I always tell people too when you're connecting with your SOI, don't flood their inbox and send them messages. You know, I made a mistake in doing that as well. And there's some people that are gonna throw you off like you haven't spoken to in so many years and now you're jumping in. And those are rookie mistakes to make as a new new business person. I've made them. I've had so many contacts and so many places I've worked with and I jumped in to be like, I'm a realtor. But you know, you could have done it in a little bit more subtle, more indirect way. And that's why I wanted to come on here and share all of this information. And lastly, I wanna, I wanna leave you with this. Do your best and try your best to share value and try to think of it from your audience perspective. Who's, you know, who are my followers? How could I help them and give them more information so they can trust me, start to like me since they already know me. So I hope this is helpful for you. Some indirect strategies on how to leverage your sphere, people that are already know you and they may already like you. Now let's build that trust. And sometimes they may not know that you're a realtor. So this is a great opportunity for you to leverage that. If you want to know and want more information about social media content and strategies, head to karubi.social. The link is in the description. It's a content platform that tells you every single day what content to post, daily post, editable templates, content, all sorts of things. I recommend it. Um, so check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, it's a pleasure. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like this content. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more content. Leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to create videos on what that you need help with. I'll see you next time.